doesn't have a demon. Rosin doesn't have a player that he loses to over and over again. There's nothing that he can't figure out. Dude, he is such a good coach and he's such a good grinder because every single time he loses to a matchup, he's like, you know what? I'm going to go over, I'm going to study this matchup this whole week, and I will never lose to you again. That's definitely something we like to see top players do. Getting into this, Razo versus Yasi. I really want to see both these characters right after they get in. So much damage, actually. 67%. Yeah, continuing that string with his own turn up as well. Great adaption from Yasi. But yeah, already... Ice Climber is actually a really sleeper character. They have really, really good combos, but, you know, usually that's what... That's the only thing that they usually have. That's what a lot of people complain about or that's good about Ice Climbers, but usually the Ice Climbers players are complaining about like, oh yeah, no, my Nana is so stupid. She keeps killing herself. She keeps running off stage. Yeah, and it's not as if Peach doesn't have the tools to create separations. Those side Bs, the Peach Bombers, even the counters, doing a really good job of getting one Climber away, but that Ooh. back air, well placed. Dude, you could kind of see Razo kind of freaking out right there. He wanted to read the side B or trying to run in with the dash attack because right after those combo moves start, up air, instant kill basically at that percent. You can see the combo break, uh, sorry, the shield break coming out. Nothing just yet. Good amount of pressure. The Squall Hammer, we're going to see if he can at least bait it out. I would say Razo should be really used to this matchup because before playing Smash 4 and Smash Ultimate, he, he was a melee player, so he really needs to focus that Nana. But Fantastic Forder coming out to kill both of them. Yeah, especially because the Ice Climbers will at different times have different level, levels of shield. That downer might poke one of them and not the other, and I think that's what Razo's looking for. Yeah. A lot of his combos that Peach does, Peach actually can't do on Ice Climbers just because since there's two characters, once they desync, oh yeah, he's going to eat an F smash. He's going to eat a combo. So he can't do those long Peach combos, the long Twitter, Twitter combos, because both Ice Climbers are going to get separated due to different spacing. Mm -hmm. So really good poking at them at, in the air with the multi-hit down air. Yossi not pushing advantage, just taking center instead. All that shield damage from the stitch. Ooh, and you could kind of see over here how good Razo is with the turnips. But I'm pretty sure he accidentally mistaken the player player Popo as like the Nana. And you can kind of see that separating out the ice climbers, but hitting Yossi back to, to Nana. Oh, had the right idea, covered roll, but just a bit too late. And Yossi striking back. Fantastic job. Raz is being a bit too slow, but he's able to do this. Tries to get him with the counter. There's get out of there, but nothing just yet. Both players just scrapping around, but Yossi really having all the mileage here. Even though he's down, like, he's at 143%, anything could kill usually. It doesn't matter. As long as you get as much damage as possible, you know? Yeah, and as long as you keep your Nana. Yeah, Razo just eating a 40% punish for hitting the, or grabbing the wrong climber, rather. Yeah, and you kind of saw Nana die instantly from that sour spot back here because she was charging a smash attack. Ooh, and the forward air not going to be doing it just yet. A little bit too weak just because both eyes, both climbers aren't there. Yeah, and Yasi still has a fresh stock to work with. Not only that, but Nana will be returning here. You can see poking down with the down air. And both players playing around neutral really well. Yossi really trying to fish for that up tilt again because, you know, up air, up air will kill, forward air will kill. But trying to get those aerials on as, as such a slow character, kind of hard. That could have been it with the instant follow up, but didn't feel confident that he was at lower enough percent, so that wouldn't be true. Second stitch of the game for Rosso. This one just not going to go to use. Back air, separating out both climbers again, but unfortunately missing that forward throw. Wow, the knockback from the throw gets Popo out of there. Ooh, you can see the back air trying to be set up by Yossi, but Razo not letting him speak. Oh, and wow. Wow, the upbeat to call him out right after the squall hammer. That was literally the only option that Razo could have done to, to kill Yossi at that point. Yeah, it's brave. It's, you know, if you miss, it could be catastrophic, but he got it. Rather sick, dude. <laughs> that, that's all. That's all I could say. He's he's dope. <laughs> I, we've seen some incredibly hype finishers in 
you know, so far throughout this block, and Rosso just coming through with another. Honestly, this matchup doesn't seem really bad for Ice Climbers, just because after they get the first hit, they're able to zero death anybody, especially with desyncs and especially with how hard they're comboing, but at the same time, their disadvantage. Super, super bad when both climbers are separated. Yeah, you're not just facing any Peach, you're facing Razo's Peach, and this is a player who knows how to deal with every matchup in the game, has multiple ways to beat you. Dude, if this was Melee, this would have been such a mad matchup for Yossi. <laughs> a fantastic counter coming out right there. And that's really what you want to see. I really want to see right after Razo hitting Popo off, just go for more damage and keep comboing Nana just because, what, Yossi's going to try to run up and hit you? Popo's really, really slow, not really that good at getting air mobility. Yossi without a jump, goes for that down air. Yep. Both, playing, both players playing pretty well right now. Oh, up till up air? Yeah, that's... That's not going to do it. Immaculate DI from Razo. Really just timing the throw invincibility, too. Yeah, Razo doing a great job of picking throws with hitboxes as well to get rid of the other climber from up close. Oh, just really trying to read him. But this is really what you want to see. Right after you split up apart Nana and Popo, it's a lot easier to deal with one instead of both. Tries to go for the up you read again and you can kind of see now with squall hammer not really that good of an option popo really slow Razo even gets the the mr saturn we got two rng characters on stream already i mean he doesn't even need it it's not like it's that particularly useful because you're not shielding that much with one climber you're just trying to get out the way exactly you're just trying to swing at that point and now with both climbers back i really want to see yasi try to punish Razo's high um, high recovery with the uppy, just because that's a really good move. And it's really, really reminiscent of Game & Watch, actually. He got just out of range on that side special. Really good positioning from Yasi. Razo going in a little bit too hard. But again, you can kind of see both players playing a little bit slowly, trying to poke each other out. But right after that first poke hits and that first hit uh -oh. lands, ooh, that, that should be it, yeah. Get a snipe, baby. <laughs> you can't really do anything about that. Also coming in with the place from downtown. I, again, these down these down airs really really good from Razo. They're able to just create so much space, make Yasi really not play the game too much. All he could get is what a narrow shield. <laughs> Tries to go for the down throw, down throw back air, but fantastic DI from Yasi. And importantly, Razo not autopiloting on the ledge either. We saw him go for that down special Yossi did, and Razo just up to the test, get up attacking right away. I actually figured out why he's doing that. He's trying to counter specifically the Blizzard, just because since it's a long and lasting hitbox, it's able to outrange, and since it's really, you know, long also, it's just able to create more space. But yeah, Razo doesn't really need to get in, and this is really what you need to do against Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers has always historically had problems with getting in, but right after they get that first grab, but right after they get that first hit, that's when it's GG. Quick kill move with the down smash. Yossi not out of this, particularly if he can get a long string going. Fantastic there just to get back to center stage. Squall Hammer, 27%, tries to get him with the uh, with more moves, but yeah, that's exactly what you'd want to do. Fantastic recognition from Razo instead of going for the Popo, officer to go for the Nana. He is back on the stage, but who knows for how much longer that Nair forcing right back off. Ooh, I was going to say, backers are going to be coming out because, what, out of shield options with your Popo, actually can't do anything. Yeah, you have Nair, but that's really, really slow. Yeah. Fantastic job from Razo, 